Okay, hey, back really quick. I'm gonna do this sauce. Found my onions, they were hiding. Okay, so here we go. Like I said, making my sauce for my meatloaf. I've got about a cup of frozen onions. Um, whenever I have an onion that I don't wanna go to waste, I toss it in the freezer real quick because I know that I'll be able to use it. So I've got some butter melting. I'm gonna add these onions into Yay, thank you for coming back. Thank you, thank you. So I'm going to drop these in to my butter that I've got melted. I'm just going to let those saute. Let them get soft. And I've got a can of crushed tomatoes. You can use whatever you like. For some reason, these crushed tomatoes are just awesome in my meatloaf. I don't know what it is, but I swear by it. I love it. So I'm going to let my onions get a little soft. Come on, onions. Do your magic. Do your magic, onions. Come on, buddies. All right. So my onions are getting soft, and I'm going to pour my crushed tomatoes into my pan. Skillet, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to get a little bit of water just so that I can get the end of my tomatoes. I don't... I don't waste anything. I don't waste anything. Do you hear me? I am all about saving money, feeding the family. So I got the last little bit of my crushed tomatoes in my can, just swishing some water around just to end that out. Okay, boom, got that done. Got quarter cup brown sugar. Toss that in. Let that mix in real good. Stir that up. Boom, boom, boom. Now, I'm gonna turn that to low. Let that cook down while my meatloaf is in the oven. Real simple, like I said, can of crushed tomatoes, quarter cup of brown sugar, about a cup of onions, any type of onions you like. I use red, I use shallots, I use yellow. I'm an onion lover. We go through them like crazy in my family. Um, just have that saute on the, it's actually going to be just warm on the stove while you're making your meatloaf. And when your meatloaf is almost ready, like I said, I cook my meatloaf for about 45 minutes. When it's almost ready, put your sauce on, put it back in the oven, let it brown uncovered, moist, tender, delicious. Super easy sauce. Now, if you don't like sauce with your meatloaf, do a gravy. In my family, we love our meatloaf topped with tomato sauce. That's how I had it growing up. That's how my husband had it. And that's how we love it here. So I'm going to let that simmer down and I'll come back on in about mm, 30, 35 minutes or so so that I can pour that over to my sauce, on, over, pour my sauce over to my meatloaf and let um, show you how that turns out. So Thank you all for coming back for my second scope. Oh my God, look at me scoping like a pro. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> thank you again for tuning in. Um, if you have anything that you guys would like to see made, let me know and we can get some recipes going. I'm just trying to you know, grow my audience here and show people vegan. Okay, Stacy, I know that's one of your things. So let me know. Um, vegetables, are we talking as far as... Um, similar type meals like maybe like a veggie burger do you want to know pastas tell me what you want and we can get something together and we can scope out a recipe if you'd like so um give me some ideas um you have my email you have my facebook drop me a note let me know i would love to scope a recipe for you i think that would be so much fun i'm serious so let me know thank you i really appreciate you joining me thank you for the love thank you for the love so I'm going to let my sauce simmer here again. If you're just now coming in, I am making a quick meatloaf sauce that I just made. I made a ground chuck and a ground pork meatloaf with onions, carrots, celery, green pepper, garlic, breadcrumbs, egg. Um, real simple. Probably the same type of recipe that your mom makes. Um, it's meatloaf. It to me, it doesn't get any more down home than that. I'm going to serve it up with some mashed potatoes and some zucchini. That's what we're having here in my family. My daughter, is that my, 
as at her grandparents my husband's with them so I've got time to cook today so uh, this is Sunday I typically try to get um, a two three or three meal in done on Sunday so that meatloaf will last us uh, most likely two to three days um, it's a, about a two and a half pound meatloaf so cook down end up being about two pounds that'll um, last us a while um, in our family it's just my husband myself and my daughter so um, again making a meatloaf sauce thank you all for tuning in I'll check back with you here shortly when our meatloaf is close to being done thank you again for tuning in talk to you guys later bye bye